In this tutorial, we are going to create a lace pattern brush that is similar to the pattern brush that we created in the last video, except this time it's going to be in vector format. So from the last video, we had a photo of a piece of lace, and we also had this bounding box isolating the repeat. Now I'm just going to make a copy of just the JPEG itself, not that bounding box, but I do want to keep that up there so I could use it uh, just in a little bit. Now that I have my copy, I'm going to go up to the menu and go into Window and then select Image Trace. Now, similar to the videos that we previously have watched on how to use the image trace, I'm going to click down here on the advanced palette and I want to select ignore white. I also want to click on preview so I could see what it's going to look like. And now here's where we can adjust the different um, sliders for the threshold, the paths, the corner, and the noise to get it to look similar or to whatever we want it to look like. And I'm just using the original JPEG on top as a comparison. Once we're happy with the result, I'm going to go to Object, Image Trace, and then Expand. This will convert it into Vector. Now I'm going to copy that bounding box that I already had waiting, up from, uh, waiting for me from that top JPEG, and I just added a fill color so that you could, or stroke color so you could see what it looks like. Remember, we want to go to Object, Arrange, and Send to Back because a bounding box always has to be behind the object. And then I also want to remove the stroke and fill color. Before I bring it over to my brush palette, I'm going to go over to my eraser tool and I just want to get rid of some of these extra vector points here on the left and on the right. You don't have to, um, but I'm just hoping this will help me reduce the file size slightly since we do have a lot of vector points here. Now we can select the bounding box and the lace and drag that into our brushes palette and once again selecting pattern brush. I can change the name of this particular brush and I'm going to leave all the other presets as is except for under colorization I'm going to choose tints. Now let me just grab my brush tool and draw out a curved or straight line with my new lace vector brush. And because we chose the tints under colorization I can now change the color of my stroke to whatever I want. And here we have a lace pattern brush in vector format. 